I'm helping this guy out on a lathe and he's about to cut his threading cycle. He hits cycle start and it starts to go and it looks great, but it doesn't stop. It keeps on going. It's in the part now. It's making this terrible, terrible grinding sound. We're hitting feed hold, feed hold, feed hold. It's not stopping. It's getting closer and closer to the chuck. E-stop, E-stop, E-stop. Oh my gosh. We were like half an inch away from hitting the chuck on a lathe. That would have been absolutely terrible. Now, I know that this was my mistake. I was helping this guy out. I have all this experience, and I made a very simple mistake. On his threading cycle, I typed in negative Z6.5 instead of Z negative 0.65. That tool was headed right for the chuck. It would have completely destroyed the machine and cost thousands and thousands of dollars worth of damage. And it was all because of my hasty mistake. Now, we were gonna take this moment to make sure that this never happened again. And going forward, this student, when he gets into the industry, would never have to deal with this ever again. If you followed some simple procedures that we came up with, during this time. Now the first thing is always checking the offset. The value that I input, double checking that it's the correct one. You never want to put a decimal in the wrong place. As simple as it seems, it's a huge difference between 0.65 and 6.5. So just simply looking at it to ensure it's correct is going to save tons of time and money in the future. Now, wherever that value is going, that also needs to be correct. So I wanna make sure it's going in the Z and not the X or uh, wherever else it may be. It needs to be in the correct place. So I double check to make sure that that's, the cursor is in the correct place of where I want it to go, the correct tool or the correct work offset. Now, the other thing you wanna do is look at the number that's being changed. Once it changes, is it the correct value. Now, if I put a small 10 thou adjustment in there, that value shouldn't change one or two inches. If that's the case, something's wrong and you need to start all over again. Something else I do to ensure that I don't make mistakes is write things down. Every now and then, I need to write down a couple different numbers. That way I can default back to where I was if I make a mistake. Or uh, maybe there's some you know complicated math or something. I need to write it down. I'll write those numbers, do the math to ensure that the values coming out are correct. The other thing I do is take a photograph of my controller. So that's the ultimate default. If I completely mess it up, I can always just re -put input all my values back to where they were when the machine was good, and then I'll continue to go from there. Now, with all this being said, if you ever question what you're doing, if you're really not sure, maybe you didn't write anything down, maybe you didn't take a photograph, maybe you just don't know and you're questioning, did I do this, did I do that, stop and redo everything because it's better to take an extra five minutes to redo all your offsets than to blow the machine up and cost thousands of dollars worth of damage and maybe a week or two waiting for a maintenance guy to come out there and fix your machine. Now, I know you guys probably have similar procedures for yourself. I'm curious to know what those are because it's always great to learn from each other's experiences and we've all developed little tips, tricks, techniques to ensure that we're successful in the machine shop. I would love to hear what you guys do in your shop. Comment about it below so that we can have some discussion about it. I want to hear a story of when you blew up the machine and what you did to make sure it never happens again. Guys, you're awesome. Please like and subscribe. We're going to continue to bring awareness to the industry, give out free education so that you guys are successful in your machine shop so when the time comes, we can dominate the world.